which I have to confess, you told us during the swim season we weren't allowed to kiss people, and I, um, I was not able to maintain that, so sorry about that. It's not really a confession, you probably heard, but I just want to give myself a shout out for kissing both Annas on the swim team. Um, proudest moment. <laughs> um, I'm just guessing that Caleb probably said something about how he's really proud of having kissed both Annas, but in the middle of our kiss, I pulled back and started laughing for a second, because I guess I just thought it was really funny. I don't know. He doesn't like to mention that part. My appendicitis is fake. That's, that's <laughs> why. <laughs> Coach, I had a really nice Wendy's 4 for 4 double stack right before the meet today. It's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, my confession is one day when we had an NHS meeting, uh, <laughs> I said that I was late just because of the meeting, but I was actually kissing Isaac, so that's, yep, that's it. Okay, cool. <laughs> My senior confession is that every year at Region, I stole a cap from every single team. So I have like 20 caps from different teams. <laughs> actually, most away meets. <laughs> um, I have gotten like hardly any sleep <laughs> just because uh, whoever's in the room usually you know with the exception of a few away meets um, we pretty much just always stay up the whole night. Coach my confession to you is at the St. George meet me and a couple of other guys left at 2 a.m. and went for a run. My confession is that I've never swam an entire set at practice because I get tired and I quit. I got like this entire swim season, I got maybe four hours of sleep every night and that was it. Any advice I can give is uh, don't be dumb, it's being dumb is stupid. Just always keep moving forward, don't just like give, when you feel like giving up, that's, that's yourself telling you to no, don't, just keep going. My life advice would be to be friends with everyone because these are the friends we're going to keep and always smile even if having a bad day. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. When it comes to high school, there's already going to be a lot of pressure on you to do all sorts of things. Some advice is, you know, honestly just be yourself. Don't be someone else. You know, if, you know, just look up to others and you know, live your own life. That's what I've been following this path this year. You know, it's been great. You know, don't impersonate other people. Don't, don't make bad decisions. Take every opportunity you can, even if none of your friends want to go with you. Um, don't be afraid to try new things, because you're gonna think that you know what you want to do or what you want to, you know, pursue or uh, have passion in. And just don't be afraid to change what your passion is. My advice to everyone, well, on my underclassmen, is to actually go to practice because you never know what you can achieve. So I think my advice is like, I have this saying that um, you win at all costs, and I think that that means that you don't cheat, but it means that like as long as you give everything you have, you won. So my advice to the underclassmen would be that in the end, your times really don't matter. It's all about like making the friendships and making the bonds and connections with people because they're not going to remember what your times are in the end. They're just going to remember who you are and how nice you were to them. Happy yeah. moment of the swim team. That's rough. Not morning practice ever. The weird things we do as a team that we can do because we're a team. Memory of swim team is when I had a fake tooth and then I was doing a sprint and it like fell out. I was like, shoot, we're never gonna find this tooth. And then coach said, okay, we're done doing sprints. And then he's like, Kayla lost her tooth. Everyone get in the pool and we have to look for it. And all the girls' team was like looking for it. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. And then we found it. Hallelujah. Honestly, the trip to St. George. Uh, junior last year, so junior year, uh, it was just a flipping fun time on the bus, and everyone was goofballs, and you can't deny that. Senior night.
walking their cross, wet floor, everyone else goes flawless, and then me, just walking along and then slip one leg out, catch myself, pop back up, and keep on walking. My favorite memory is probably sneaking onto the fourth bus because I could see the other side of the team and it was really funny and I got into trouble, but I'd say it was worth it. <laughs> um, some of my favorite memories swimming would have to be on the bus rides home with Catherine Keeper in the back, dying of heat, so that was fun. And then all the times that Mia's tried to headbutt me in the pool and missed, so yeah. <laughs> One of my happiest memories in the swim team is I guess when we're all just like doing the cheer and we're all just unified together, it's, it's just really fun. Coming back and seeing my old teammates 